Okay, this time let's try to have some branch chains and some multiple bonds. But this time I'd like to use the continuous drawing button. So I click here, this is still carbon, so I click on methane. I click anywhere, I don't have to drag. Just click, it will connect to another carbon. Click again, there you have another carbon there. Okay, so it is very easy. Let's try to clean the structure. Okay, now what do we want to do? We'd like to have some branch. So just click on any of the carbon that you wish to attach a branch to. Say for example here in carbon number 2. So I click on carbon number 2. And there you have your uh, branch, your, your methyl group attached to carbon number 2. Maybe we have another attachment to carbon number four. So we click on this carbon and there you have it. Okay, this time let's have the multiple bonds to appear. So we know that for every carbon, you could only have four bonds around it. So let's try to look at carbon one and carbon two. If I click on this bond and then left click on this, okay, I could have a double bond in between okay so in carbon number two I have four bonds around it okay and I cannot have more than that if I would click it again it will just appear as a single bond or a double bond let's try to look at the other carbon for example in carbon number five and six so between carbon five and six we could possibly have a double bond. Okay, that's correct. If I press it again, left click, I could also have a triple bond. So ChemSketch knows that for carbon, it could have maximum of four bonds around it. So if that's the case, what if I try it here? Okay, so no matter how much I click, it will not show any more multiple bonds. Okay, that part is easy. Okay, this time let's try to draw some functional groups. Let's start again from your parent chain of carbon. Press on carbon. Um, 